Hey everybody, this is Cat the Gamer Gale, and welcome to a game simply known as D4. And D4 stands for Dark Dreams Don't Die. Uh, so apparently you can play this game with either a Kinect, which I don't have, um, or you could play it with uh, obviously the controller, which is what I'm gonna do. I don't have a I don't have a Kinect, so you guys aren't gonna see me on screen at all. <laughs> But still, you guys get to see me play this game, which it's a game I have never in my life. I mean, I've, I've played the demo to this, actually. I remember playing it back on the 360, the demo to it on the 360, and that was it. Uh, I replayed it again, the demo, for the Xbox One. And I'm just like, man, this game is so bizarre. I want it. <laughs> And finally, uh, they had it, I think, I, 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 honestly, I'm not even sure, uh, I think they had it on here for free, if not, it was for something else entirely different, uh, don't quote me on that, okay? Um, but I just wanted to let everyone know that I have at least played the demo to this, and that is important. <laughs> All right. Uh, so let's see here. It says this game uses an automatic saving feature. Do not switch off the power when you see this clover mark displayed on the screen. Okay, that that's very helpful. Also, there was a lot like um, there was a lot. Oh yeah, that's right. I also installed all that stuff. <laughs> oh, and apparently got an achievement. Whoa, fashion leader. Acquire 40 articles of clothing. Jesus Christ, I guess all those clothing I downloaded was considered a lot of clothes. <laughs> well, okay. Um, so yeah. Oh I, my god, I got two achievements? Novice record collector. Wow. Collected five records. And all because I downloaded some DLC. Free DLC, mind you. This was free DLC. Any more achievements? No? Wow, that's that's two achievements in a row from just booting up the game after downloading all those DLCs that were for free. Wow. <laughs> Alright, let's actually go ahead and take care of the game audio because I do want... Um, force... What is this? I know what mono is. I know what mono is. Mono is like being... Uh, it's like... It's... um. Look, I know what the difference between mono and stereo is. I just don't know what these mean. Oh well. Well, we're gonna go stereo, and we're actually gonna turn up the... Yeah, we're gonna do custom, because I like my voices up. I like I like my sound effects down about a, a notch or two. I like my music up a little bit. That sounds about right. Um, Yeah, that sounds good. This looks good. This looks very good. Um, real quickly here, hold on, I'm checking something here on my Twitch. Otherwise, uh, we're gonna be, we're good. We're good to go. Yep. Volume, voices have to be at 100. I don't care what anyone says, that's, that's just how I am. Now, did it save? No, it, it did, it did, it did. All right, let's go to display. Um, I might brighten it up by just a couple notches, even though it's fine as it is. Because I'm, I'm paranoid. <laughs> Subtitles on, tutorial on, yes. And we are using the controller. There we go. Let's see, type 1. Oh, I see, where I can use the right stick instead. Well, I like using the left stick, so I'm actually gonna put it back to type 1. Because uh, I don't want to... Uh, Make a fool of myself. Let's see here. Um. Alright, I want the cursor to move fast. If that's too much for me, I will turn it down. But for right now, that's good. Alright, that's it. I think we're good, guys. So let's save and exit. Awesome. Oh, kid dokes. 
Let's see here. Alright. Okay! I think I am ready. Oh. Apparently I got another achievement called Fashion Savvy. And it just didn't pop up. Well, okay then. <laughs> um... Let's just go ahead and get started now. I think that's it. All right, let's go ahead and do this. Oh, wait. There is one thing I need to take care of before we actually get started. Um, I am actually kind of, sort of, in a way, watching my stream, but I'm not going to use the chat here. Uh, audio background. Let's see background audio I wish I could say never but I guess we're gonna have to do it like this see what that does ah oh well all right well I'm gonna go ahead and exit that then there's no reason to have that on if it's gonna hear my voice all right cool so um we're gonna go ahead and get started uh, if you guys are excited then yay <laughs> Actually, yeah, let's look at the cast and staff Oh, God, jeez, it's going so fast. Jeez, just, just slow, slow, slow down. Uh. Okay. Well, we're gonna look at it for a second, because, oh, actually, no, we're not. Let's just stop, because uh, it might take away a, a while to get to the, to the actors. Um, let's see what these things are. Oh, nice. This is not bad. <laughs> well, anyways, um, enough of that. We don't have to worry about any of this stuff right now, as far as I know. God. Jesus Christ. Okay, whatever. Alright. So, if you guys are ready and excited, like I am, then let's get started. After I open this can. <laughs> Sweet. Mm. Okay. Uh, so, like I said, I have played the demo to this, but I've never played the full game. So I have no idea what's in store for me for this. I think I remember Super Best Friends playing this about a few years back. But they didn't do a full playthrough as far as I know. They just did like a small playthrough. Um, this game was created by the same person who created uh, Deadly Premonition uh, for the Xbox 360 and I think the PS3 as well. Um, and that game was like... It was kind of goofy, but also kind of serious at the same time. It was a weird mix of American cop dramas and uh, uh, Japanese horror. So it was a, it was an interesting game, though. I liked it. I never got to play it myself, unfortunately, but it looked really interesting. <laughs> but anyway, you guys don't care about that. What you care about is a new game. So we're going to do that. You ready, Luna? My dog's like, psh, just play and leave me alone. Okay. <laughs> Good girl. Alright, let's start. New game. I'm excited. Are you excited? I know I'm excited. I might turn... I might put the cursor back to normal sensitivity. This is a work of fiction. Any similarity to actual persons, places, organizations, etc. is purely coincidental. Okay. Coincidental. Uh-huh. I hear ya. Oh. David. <laughs> this is a story of a man with a very strange <laughs> fate. Hey, look. I'll move the cursor. It's like I've grown wings. <laughs> well, that was sudden. Prologue. The day it all began. Oh boy. I think if I'm correct, this was... This is the, um... This might be... Oh. <gasps> oh! Oh, that's cool. <laughs> Microsoft Studios presents. Yeah, of course. 
That owl. That's one beautiful looking owl. So I'm going to assume I can't grab those. Okay. Alright. So, ah! Investigate the clues. Okay. Use the hand to highlight the exclamation mark. Uh, White Lake. Wow, that was a fast achievement. Uh, started playing season one. Oh, good! It gave me achievement for just starting the game. That's beautiful. Okay, read the, uh... Da, 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 da. Okay, well, I'm trying. I'm trying. I have it highlighted. So I'm not sure what it wants me to do. On a buoy. Grab the credit medal. Okay, thank you. Now I can finally grab it. There was another one over here, too. Push the sign. Okay. Boink. I did it. Grab all the credit medals. I look around with the... Okay, wow, okay, that's that's inverted. So, or no. Hold on. So if I press the right stick, she, or the right uh, bumper, she looks that way. To her left. That doesn't make any sense, but okay. Turn around and observe the man standing... Uh, at the lake side. Use the R stick to turn around. Pow, 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 pow. <laughs> He's looking at me. Seems worried. Always nice. Love you. Aww. Hi. Hi, Dad. So what now? Move closer to the owl. Use the R stick or the up directional key. Wow, another achievement? First step. Okay. Completed the prologue tutorial. That was a really fast tutorial. Uh, hold on a second, guys. I do want to check one more itsy bitsy teeny tiny thing. Uh, just out of curiosity. Because you know me. Um, okay. Good, I turned that down fast. Uh, I do want to do this real quick, because I am curious as to something here. Yep, it is saying that I'm playing this game. Okay, that's all that matters. Okie dokie, akajoki. Alright, let's turn that back up. Boop. Alright. Okay, moving with the R stick. Oh, nice. Alright, press that button if you need to pause the game. Well, I'm not doing that. It's actually kind of nice. I see you over there. I see you over there. Don't think I don't see you. I see you. It says... Then nice warning. Boop. Luckily, I could just use the left stick to uh, simply look in that direction. It's a, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a, another, another medal, another credit. It's a silver one. I'm gonna grab it. Okay. This is actually really fun. I'm not gonna lie. I can't reach that until I go up one more step. Okay. Wait. Hold up. Credits. Bronze emblem. Nice. <gasps> it's a pretty owl. Large owl. Pure white. Beautiful. It is beautiful. That's one beautiful looking owl. Okay. 
Do I want to push it or I want to grab it? I want to grab it. I don't want to push it. Pushing it would be rude. Grabbing it's just as rude, but... I'd rather grab it than push it. Push the owl. I guess I did. Oh, I can press X to, to push. Okay. I'm sorry! I didn't want to do it. The game told me I had to. I had to. I'm sorry, beautiful owl. Press Y to observe. Of course. Beautiful, cute, soft. Aww. It's so pretty. <laughs> Aww. Bye bye, owl. Uh, yeah, that's not good. We did see the thin ice warning from earlier, you know. Oh, no. Of course, if she moves, she's obviously gonna fall in. Oh, boy. <laughs> oh, no, please, no copyright. Oh, God. Okay, I'm praying to God that Twitch does not mute this segment later because something tells me they will because of this song. Because I don't know if it's copyrighted or not. So, I don't know, guys. That had to have hurt really bad. Like, ow, dude. Oh, okay. There, I did it. <gasps> Yay, a strawberry flavor. Nom. I didn't see you again this time either. Now this was the, this is what the demo was. Mm -hmm. And if I remember correctly, Peggy was his uh I think his wife. Scar aches. My name is David Young. Former knock with the Boston PD. And now a detective who searches the past. My likes include 100% de agave tequila. My dislikes are mainly Drugs and chewing gum. Dislikes chewing Two gum. Years ago, but choose chewing gum. My wife. Yep, I was right. Since then, I've been using every second of my life to solve a case. Using a certain, a very special power. Yes. I'm so happy we're playing this game. I really am. Okay, so I'm actually going to be investigating a lot of stuff and things. For instance, my wife died here. Permanent blood stain. Wow. Little Peggy. <laughs> Wait a second. Everyone has their own place to work. A small desk in an office, a molten hot factory, a quiet library, the register in a supermarket, or in the middle of an intersection, in bed, on a golf course, a kitchen. For some, it's the whole town. Well, that's very unsettling. The 
day she died, this has been my place to work. Do I really want to grab that? No longer. I can see. Yeah, I can see that. I don't. I really don't think. Yeah. A gift is an expression of emotion. The person who sends it wants the feelings to be understood. Sometimes, however, those feelings remain in a slightly different form. I call these forgotten treasures mementos. I see. All right, so the first memento is the bright red stiletto. I don't even have stilettos myself, so don't even ask me if I wear any. Uh, stiletto worn by the librarian at the BPL. Perhaps it was a gift from a lover. It has a name on the back. Dominic Bean. A mild-mannered librarian by day. At night, she lured men with her wiles and sold them drugs. Maybe the sender of the shoe was one of her victims. Either way, she wasn't D. Apparently, this memento has lost its power. I don't know what that means. All right. Broken mirror reminder of that day. Hey, see the bathroom door. Prints from two people. Lollipop. Three fruit flavors. Woo. Sweet. <laughs> Stamina can be restored by eating food. Mmm. Yum. Broken sink. Disconnected uh, drain pipe. Okay. Actually, look at the mirror. My head is full of memories of my wife. And the bullet that robs me of it. What happened in this place? On that day? I am very curious. <laughs> this is, I mean, what's weird about this game is that it's a very odd game. It's just a little odd. But it's not bad, you know? I'm very curious about it. I use lipstick uh, along with the arrow. Okay, boop. It's been broken since that day. Broken sink, old crack. Oof, that was, that was fast. Of course, nothing happens. Little Peggy. Now, okay, his wife, with the way her face looked, she had that mole um, underneath her left eye. I think that was the little girl from the intro. I mean, it looked just like her. So it could possibly be. Look for D. That, I'm gonna do that again. I'm just, yeah, look for D. That's really cool, though. All right, I think that's everything in here, I, as far as I know. I don't see anything else. Yeah, there's nothing else as far as I know uh, that I can grab onto or even look at. Yeah, I think we're good. We'll uh, interact with this one more time. Okay, so he automatically shuts it himself. I don't have to do it again. And this actually lets me see the mementos. Okay, cool. So, all right, let's go, Dean. There's a food list. I love the food list. All right. Wow, there's just so many menus! I just want to close this. <laughs> all right, let's get out of here. Let's get on out of here. Boop. Open the door. Okay. No results this time either. This case is in the clear. All right. Ah! We're gonna investigate everything. I don't care what anyone says. We're investigating it all. 
All right, antique chest. Uh, sh I can't read with that, unfortunately. It says shoe print something, sorry. Uh, small drawer. Press and hold Y to use vision. Ooh. I like this. Don't want to use it too often. Okay, gold objects can be used. White objects can be pushed. All right. There we go. Oh, I have to hold it. Okay. Two shadows. Man and woman snuggled up. The man pushes her away. A ring removed. A fight. The woman cries. The ring falls. Door closes. Soft crying. Wow. That's a lot. That's a lot of information. And just, just, just looking at a window. I don't have time for this right now. You don't have time for this right now? You don't have time for this right now. Bandages. Removing these is painful. Well, that, that explains it. Give me them bandages. Alright, medicine restores life. Wait, so using vision actually uses up your life? That's a bit sad. Bedroom door, not locked. A space just for two. Let's see. I need to clear this case first. I can sleep after that. Oh, okay. All right, let's actually go ahead and go to the first step then. Boop, boop, boop. All right. So yeah, I want to investigate everything. Uh, landline canceled my cell phone. Numbers on the wall. Take out pizza order or pizza number. <laughs> ah, pizza! I love pizza. Pizza delicious. Let's see here. So this will actually continue my progress, which I don't want to do yet. Go ahead and take that off. Wow, I've already used up a lot of my life. Uh, let's go ahead and save then. If this saves my progress, then I want to go ahead and, and uh, save the game. I guess that saved it! Okay! That was fast! Alright, hopefully I know... I know how to... Or at least I know everything that happens in this apartment. A pair of tea sets. She got it at the bazaar. So, uh, soil is dry. Cupboard. Uh, cups are dusty, not being used. Let's see. I keep forgetting. This, okay, this, um, right, the right and left bumpers are actually inverted. So let me take a second here and see if I can fix that because that is, I'm sorry, that's a little ridiculous for me. Um, let's see. Is that even possible? Can I invert, like, can I change those around? I can't. Oh my god. So if I press left, he looks right. If I press right, he looks left. That's going to be a problem. Because I'm not used to... Um, I'm, not, I'm not used to that. Keep, keep pushing it. Keep pushing it. Did I, did I get all the credits? Yeah! Okay, I did. <laughs> Alright, so we're going to go over here. I want to grab this. Yum. More bandages. Very important we grab these. Because I am running... Oh no, my life is actually pretty full. Can I still grab them and hold them? It says bandages 30 pieces. I'm going to grab them anyway. Because you get credits for, for touching things and grabbing stuff. See, this is the back door. I think, right? Can't read because the stupid thing is in the way. I don't know what it says. Scratches, Amanda is the culprit. However, unfortunately, this yellow thing's in my way, so I can't read what it said. That's fine. Now, I... Okay. It said Ter uh, Terrence Door, Alloy Mellow. Okay, cool. For now, I need to clear this case. I can go outside any time after that. Okay. Sure. Whatever you say, boy. 
All right, yeah, let's look at the fridge. First memo, throw away leftovers. Second memo, put it back where you found it. Third memo, keep the door closed. Uh, the doors closed. Oh, of course. Let's open it. Num. What's in here that we can grab? Mother of God. Canned seafood caught in Boston Harbor. Okay, that's good. Is there any... Alright, we got some... What's this? Uh, ale. It's an import. Okay, cool. So if I drink ale, I think it, it restores my vision. And this actually restores my stamina. Not bad. Okay, let's go ahead and eat this, the canned seafood then. Cool. Stamina has been restored by 22 points. And it doesn't look like there's anything else in here I can grab, so let's see. Uh, I'll go ahead and take the ale. Yep, it restored my uh, vision. Okay, cool. So drinks restore vision and food restores stamina, as it stated before. Kitchen sink, tap water, drinkable. Awesome. And that restores a little bit of my stamina, too. So let's go ahead and drink some. Yum! Daily life. It's like a David Cage game, but with actual mechanics. <laughs> oh, no, I'm, I'm just saying that as a joke, okay? Because I, I, there's a lot of David Cage games I do like. Uh, clo- wow. Oh my god! There, okay? Boom. I have it out of the way now. I know. I know to go there, but I don't want to go there. There. Cupboard. Antique. Non-perishable um, non goods. Had dishes here before. Alright. Let's see what else. I wanted to read this. Ah! I still can't read it because of this. I see. I know. I know. I see the thing. I see that. I see it. Now stop making me... No, stop teaching me how to do that. Clover printed paper still smells like her. Aww. I'll grab that here in a second. That looks delicious. Microwave. Splashes of sticky sauce. Use every day. A hundred, a thousand watts with the thaw mode. Mmm. I want that food. That looks good. Seriously, that, that burger looks really good. Hamburger. Extra pickles. I'm not going to eat it now. There's no point. So I'm actually going to leave that alone. Alright, let's go ahead and open this up. Oh, I have to cut it down. There you go. Let's see what's in here. What food can we eat? Hmm? Canned seafood spicy soup. And Oh, what's this? Hold on, there's something next to it. What's that say? Jelly beans! The jelly uh, parts all taste the same. <laughs> the jelly parts all taste the same. Alright, well, we're not going to eat those just yet. We're going to actually hold off on those. Let's go ahead and look at this letter. Uh, okay, found a letter from Peggy. Little Peggy's letter 01. Oh, achievement unlock. Letters from the past. September 14, 2009. David, the thought of you reading this makes me very happy. I hope you've calmed down a little. I love you as you are, and I'll love the David you become. This is the second time I've written that. Do you remember the first time? Hmm. Today I found all my old letters. It's strange they've become your case materials. All the letters I ever sent. A perfect collection. Going back to high school days. They're obviously important to you. Stored so neatly. Maybe you respect them too much to tear them open. Is that it? So this is a challenge. From the Peggy I am now to the David you'll become. I've hidden my letters. Old and new. I want you... Um... I want you... Wow. I guess it's supposed to say to find. But it doesn't say to. Uh, I want you to find all of me and all of our memories. And know the Peggy I was, the Peggy I am now, and the Peggy I'll become. Your little Peggy, September 14th, 2009. It's actually funny because September 14th is actually the year one of my nieces was born. Or excuse me, the date one of my nieces was born. Uh, 2009, no. That was the year my sister graduated high school. Anyways. Go ahead and close that. Alright. Alright, let's go ahead and step up by one. 
Now hold on, were these? Yeah, they are. Storage shelf uh, from the 1920s, English made, everything went here. And sadly, I can't freaking read it because it's in the way. Let's see. She kept things tidy. Yeah, let's look inside. What's in here? Let's open those. Oh, hey! Would you look at that? Look at this. Credits. Simple design. Yeah, we're gonna grab them. Grab those. I also got some some potato chips. Potato chips, thick slices. That looks really good right now. It's funny. Like I, I just ate, but still I'm hungry. Hey, Garf, you said what the hell is going on around here? This is D4. Dark dreams don't die, and we are a cop, or an ex narc, um, who is on the case. The case to find out who killed his wife. But first, I must investigate everything. Investigate all the things. All the things. I will not do that yet. I want to inspect it. A record player made by a more co a company factory. Wow, factory outside Bo Boston. My only hobby. This is enough, right? <laughs> yes. Lampshade. I didn't want to. I don't want to do that yet. I also don't know if there's copyrighted music. By the way, Garf, hello, welcome to the stream. You said, uh, that is some serious alteration. It is. <laughs> Aw, I get no more money. Okay. A, a cork board, photos of suspects, phone records, newspaper clippings, and uh, receipts. Um, now... Uh, it's funny because here, in fact, we can actually go back. We can go there right now. Sort of, I think. So, let's go up one more. I don't think we can go back in the room. But this, let's see. Actually, we can. Cool. So, I'm actually going to go back in here. This is the crime scene. We're in his apartment right now. This is where his wife died. And th th this, is, this is the game we're playing right now. <laughs> so, there you go. All right, let me see how my stamina is doing, because I might have to go restore it. Um, let's see. All right. We are doing good on stamina. Front door, simple piece of oak. Uh, she uh, chose it carefully. Almost no visitors come. And it's also apparently rusty. Also, I can push this. Give me the money! Okay. Well, that's it. Boop. <laughs> Well, all right, right? <laughs> and also, apparently, after his, like, when his wife died in the bathroom, he actually got shot in the forehead, so he's got a bullet, like, right in his forehead as well, or at least that's the wound where he got shot at, so he actually have lost, has lost a lot of memory from that, so he has no idea how she died exactly, or who killed her. All he knows is that there's someone who's called D, and that's the person he needs to go find. Kitchen table, a place to think. Well, we're not going to think, because that will progress the story. And I don't want to progress the story just yet. So I want to come back over here, and I want to look at this cork board, because I can. Alright, extra cases, no ex uh, active cases available. Okay, so that's basically side quests. That's fine. No, 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 no. Okay. I'm not doing music, as much as I would love to, because I'm afraid there might be copyright music, and I don't want that. Coffee and cookies! Snack crumbs! Spilled coffee! Doesn't bug me. <laughs> oh, of course it doesn't bug you. Let's see. It's a coffee! It's black coffee! Just brewed! Aroma of mocha. Mmm. It's a fortune cookie! Comes with Chinese uh, delivery. Eleven ninety nine for forty. Has hardcore fans. <laughs> That's the guard. He has a th yeah. He does have a pretty thick skull, man. To survive a damn bullet. All right. So let's see. Drinking coffee will restore my vision, but it will take a little bit of my stamina away. And I think eating one of these cookies. May or may not restore stamina. Hmm. Well, I think I'm doing good. 
right now. So I'm going to hold off on doing that. Let's go ahead and leave. Let's go up another step. Hey, it's a magazine rack and I can't read it. I can apparently push that squirrel. <laughs> That's a dick move. Do I really want to do that? Magazine rack. Uh, mahogany. Mahogany. Ah, I said mahogany. Well, uh, back numbers. The detective it takes care of this. <laughs> Some potato chips. Only sold in East Boss. I swear the food looks delicious. <laughs> it's fat. <laughs> the squirrel is fat. Well, I grabbed it. I didn't. I didn't push it because that would be a dick move. Also, oh, an emblem. Sweet. Can I, okay, I have to grab it to look at the emblem. All right. Credits. Simple design. Grab that. What's this? All right. An academic journal. Effects of new drugs on the human brain. Uh, why do people have to rely on drugs? <laughs> well, because some people need it. Okay. Cool. New item in scrapbook. Number three. All right. Oh, I'm not going to read this. Uh, I've been reading. I'm going to read the letters, I think, that uh, his wife left for him, as well as um, mementos. But this sort of stuff, I don't think I'm going to read. I will probably read it later, obviously. I'll read it later, but right now I'm not going to read that. I think that's it. I don't think there's anything else on that bookshelf. Ah! I can push this! Ah! It's native to Madagascar! I got an achievement! Eye catching header! Ah! <laughs> oh, a scrapbook article. Nice! Did the squirrel come back? Nope. Alright, I'll go ahead and eat the potato chips. Home! He was he's a hungry beaver. Okay, shh, it's okay. Let's see. An old TV. Uh-huh. Catherine Raid tube analog reception and I can't read why is this stupid thing telling me hey use your analog I'm just I'm so sick and tired of it telling me to use my analog uh CATV box oh my god fine I won't read it anymore just let me grab it Doink. everything has an action don't fat shame that squirrel. No, I don't want to fat shame that squirrel. Apparently he does. Uh -huh. <laughs> uh -huh. It's so cute. <laughs> and that's his hey, wife. Amanda. Do you want to watch too? We're just at the best bit. It's Little so cute. Little Peggy. It's funny, because that's what he calls his wife. He calls her Little Peggy. Her name's Peggy, but he calls her Little Peggy. Yeah, turn it off. I know. Well, there you go. <laughs> Let's go. Let's move. Alright. There's another letter, I think. Clover printed paper, memories of her. Yay! I found her second letter! Let's read it! David, don't you think Amanda is the perfect name for our cat? Every time I look at her, I remember your face the first time you saw her. Amanda helped, but the proposal was from you. I'm so happy. Every time I see her, I remember, and I'm happy all over again. Amanda is sleeping on my lap as I write. She's nothing less than an angel, pure white newborn. She came to be part of our happiness, to make our family real. I love you, David. P.S. I'm sure my foster father will give us his blessing, too. Let's do this. Little Peggy Ullman, soon to be Little Peggy Young. January 22nd, 2019. Or 2009. Wow, I can't read. Let's <laughs> see, Garfield said foreshadowing? <laughs> Maybe. This was the first letter from her, and apparently, um... I mean, I don't know the, the day she died, but the way this letter here is written, it's like trying to tell me that this was this came after her death. Which is weird. Anyways. Let's go ahead and let's see what else is here. I can apparently push this. Newton's cradle. Let's push it. Aw. I, I can't push it anymore. Okay. Okay. 
All right. We're gonna go. We're gonna go here actually, because I want to look at this. Because this is important. It's a bookshelf. It's built in. Investigation text. The detective bought it. <laughs> Spots. <laughs> I'm not even going to read this. <laughs> I'm just going to do this. The sky is apparently the limit. This is the first scrapbook piece. So there's at least three scrapbook pieces because we found the third one. I don't even know if this stuff even happened. <laughs> uh, if I'm cr I think this game was originally made in 2010. I think. Um, so if anything that references like the future, I have no idea if that actually happened or not. Then again, they re-released it for Xbox One and PS4, so... I mean, I, I don't know. Yay, yeah, bizarre cases in Boston. Let's look at it. Ugh. Alright. I'm not gonna read this either. I'm just gonna have it on screen. Wait. Spontaneous human combustion. A person can suddenly burst into flames and then burn up in a short space of, of time. Is someone... Is this... Okay, this isn't Parasite Eve. This is not Parasite Eve. I swear, if I see the word mitochondria written in here somewhere, I'm I'm not I'm gonna lose my mind if I see the word mitochondria written somewhere in this in this. I'm looking for it. Okay, it didn't say it anywhere in there, but with the way that it explained it, as sh uh, as shock friends looked on, the victim's body was quickly consumed by fire. Once the flames were exhausted, all the remains were the tips of his hands. The rest of him reduced to charred black ashes. Okay. Just went part and then suddenly enveloped in flame and burned to death. Well, if that don't sound like some some parasite Eve shit, <laughs> I'm sorry. That's what that sounds like. I see Garfi said the mitochondria is the powerhouse of the cell. Exactly. And in the game Parasite Eve back on the PlayStation, um, many years ago, there was this whole thing uh, that stated, yeah, hey, guess what? Mitochondria is what's going to make you burst into flames. Oh. Drink that coffee. There we go. I drank the coffee. Uh. <laughs> Three animations in this game. It's funny because I've played the demo to this, but still, it's just it's dorbs. You know, yeah. Let's grab one. Let's grab one. Whew. Your common sense may not be the world's common sense. Values are never the same. <laughs> okay. I think that actually takes stamina away, now that I think about it. Go ahead and drink some more coffee, I guess. <laughs> the hell? Right? Oh, this coffee's so good! Ah! Oh! <laughs> That's what it's like, dude. I love this game! It's so good! It's a good cup of joe! Okay, let's actually eat one more. I'm sorry. Yeah. Alright. A. RT. Yay! 100%. Read as much as you can. People hate bugs but love bookworms. <laughs> what? <laughs> Gar's like, oh, what? Screw you, cookie. <laughs> right? <laughs> Alright, let's see. I've got eight. Uh, that actually restores up to four, right? Or two? I think it did two at a time. Let's see. Six. Uh, yeah, that actually does two by two. Alright, so let's actually drink the rest of this. It's not gonna hurt. Why don't I drink the last of this coffee? Finish that up. Ah, uh, oh, the uh, animation. I'm sorry. I can't... I can't take this game seriously, even though it is... It's, it's weird. Okay. Um, let me ask you, Garf. Uh, have you ever heard and or seen and or have played the game called Deadly Premonition on the 360 and or PS3 by chance um because if you have heard of it or have seen it or have played it then basically this is what spawned right after that game the creators who made that game made this game as well uh that game is just as wacky 
as this one is. <laughs> uh, you've seen it. Uh, you've seen it and played it a bit. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Well, this game is basically, like, yeah, it looks simmy. Yeah, it's, it's, um, I mean, if you actually, like, uh, like, oh, crap. Oh, it looks similar. Oh, that's what you were trying to say. Sorry. But, yeah, like, um, because it is, it's made by the same creator. Uh, the same, Dura, the same creator of this game also created Deadly Premonition. So, you can definitely tell that there's a lot of elements from both games in here. Let's go ahead and take that. And, nyeh, nyeh, 100%. A Nobel Prize for the first man who put cheese in a hamburger. <laughs> Okay. Let's see, Garf said, worst fortune cookie. It, it's the worst fortune cookie ever. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, that's gonna restore a lot of stamina. Let's go ahead and eat that. Mmm, those were delicious. Let's see. There's also this cheeseburger! I want it! But I can't. It has extra pickles. <laughs> I know what I'm supposed to do. I just don't want to do it yet. So, let's see. I actually want to go over here to the phone. So let me go over here to the phone and save my game. This is actually how I save my game. I just grab this and game saved. Boop. Just listens to the dial tone. That's it. That's that's how you save your game. You just simply listen to the dial tone. Oh boy, I needed that. I know! I know to go here. But I don't want to go here. I want to explore! And maybe possibly eat all the food. Alright. There! Now you happy? Can I please eat the jelly beans? Uh, eat the jelly beans! I say as he also puts a piece of bubble gum in his mouth. Is the squirrel back over there? Ha! He is! Let's push it. Ah! Okay. You win today, squirrel. I wonder if he came- if I wonder if he comes back. Let's actually see. Let's go over here. Yeah! He returned! Okay, we're done pushing the poor squirrel. Poor little fat squirrel. Okay. Alright, I guess we can go over here. Jeez. What am I doing? Yeah. <laughs> well, you at- you at- I mean, I don't know. You tell me. David. Anyways, let's see Garvey's a classic uh, returning to the scene of the crime. Right? <laughs> let's see. Oh, her picture. Little Peggy's photo taken in 2009. Smiling, public garden. Uh, had a fight after this. Aw. Why are you fighting with your wife, bro? Tequila, product of Mexico. Uh, agave, 100%. One drink after work. Nah, more like two or three. <laughs> I mean, hey, you you were a narc. It's understandable. Did you hear about David's wife? Man, they were just married, too. I heard it was revenge for one of his investigations. Sure sounds like the way they operate. Sending a deadly message. Aw. Missy Garf said, Tequila, the reason I was fighting with my wife. Ah! Case files, exemption list, looking for D. Created two years ago. It's a solo job now. Oh, No, just no. Alright, so I think that's it. I don't see anything else. Alright, so I'll take one drink. Because 
drinks in general, any any actual drinks will restore this. So might as well drink one. There's only one been, thing I need yep. after work. Tequila. Straight up. Nothing mixed in. Sweet. You're not getting any more, though. <sighs> the perfect stimulation for my lead filled brain. Hi. You always look so happy drinking that. I wish I could have a drink, too. Does it really taste that good? Maybe I'll just try a little. Oh! <laughs> she is adorable. <laughs> Why would anyone kill that precious angel? That also reminds me, um... The stick, as well as the right and left bumpers, are inverted. Everything's inverted. If I look right, he looks left. If I look left, he looks right. It's just, it's very odd. There's nothing I can do to fix that. Let's see, Garf, you said four cups of coffee and a shot of tequila. Sounds like a good day. <laughs> No, frankly, it tastes like shit. <laughs> Take that shit. <laughs> Ooh. Or, no, frankly, it tastes like <laughs> I mean, I'm sure it does. Then again, I don't drink, but I'm pretty sure that, yeah, drinking uh, tequila right after you had three sips of coffee is... It, it would be disgusting. Why would you do that? <laughs> All right, I think, let me actually check my, can't seem to check my stamina. Maybe if I go over here, I'll, I'll be able to see it. All right. That burger with extra pickles look good. Although I don't like pickles. Why you do this to me, game? All right, oh, I'll, go, I'll go ahead and look at this then. Ain't nothing more we can do. Might as well read this. Let's see, Garf, you said, room temperature tequila is fucking gross. <laughs> Apparently that's how he likes it. Eliminate suspects. Let's look at it. Drug test positive, trace amount of the same I component no as that the day. real blood. Ooh. When I came to, I was already lying in the ICU. The only thing I do remember are the words that little Peggy whispered as she died. Look for D. Ooh, almost no Who blood was left D? in the victim's body. Those words keep spinning in my head. Ooh. Okay. Fingerprints and blood. The time, Ooh. With no compelling evidence, the case hit a dead end. I quit the BPD. However, under the right circumstances, I now have the capability to solve even a dead end case. Do everything in my power to find this D. I swear I will. And when I do, oh Peggy. Oh no. Amanda. Amanda. I the key? Well, can I look at this? <laughs> I can still look at this. I can't, I can't look at this anymore though. <laughs> Gar. <laughs> <laughs> Look for D. <laughs> Gotta find that D. 
<laughs> I'm a very immature human being. <laughs> Can I open this cupboard finally? Yes, open it. I will eat all the potato chips! I won 100%. Yeah! 100%. Alright. Time to go over the door. Yep. It's got scratches. So Amanda's the culprit. <laughs> oh my god, Carp. <laughs> he really wants that day. <laughs> Cheers! <laughs> oh my god, Carp. <laughs> oh, this is gonna be a fun LP. I'm just saying. Okay, okay, okay. I know, I know, Amanda. You want me to open the door? Um, Garf, I will say, um, this game is weird. I'm just, I'm just warning you. This game is absolutely bonkers. And that's the best way I could describe it. I want to save because I, I, I'm pretty sure I'm going to need to. Although, I've already played the demo to this and this is what the demo was. So I know what I'm doing already. Up to this point, anyways. But anything else, I can't say. God, this game's weird. <laughs> ah! There! Great action! Okay, cool. I got this! That was good. That was lucky. Last time I didn't catch that. Wait! Gotcha. You can't escape now. <gasps> ah! Apparently, apparently there was a button there and I missed it. Oh, damage uh, from the direction. Okay. This is Amanda. She just suddenly started living here one day. She sometimes goes out and gets food for us. I can look that's around. That's something of I a lifeline for me, as I don't really go outside. Mm -hmm. Just who she is, though. Well, my memory holds no answers. <laughs> Garf, your comment says it all. Everything ship shake. The icon uh, denotes voice commands. Well, yeah, I'm not doing that. Uh, okay, yeah, this is new because I don't know anything beyond this point because I didn't have this in the demo. So, yeah, no, I'm not doing half bad. As you can see, Teddy, someone definitely got the jump on you. <laughs> Forrest Kaysen, a detective with the Boston Police Department hey. and my former partner. He still helps me out nowadays in my search for Dee. He's both a client and a source of information. He gets whatever I need. Uh. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, I know. I'm up. Women are always trouble. Doesn't matter how old they get. Trouble. Fighting with Diana again? <sighs> like you wouldn't believe. Women. Men don't stand a chance. Don't come and see me. Actually means get right over here. But then leave me alone just means, well, leave me alone. How am I meant to make sense of that? Tell me, David, please. <laughs> okay, no, no, yeah, no. Uh, I'm just gonna talk about I'm just gonna say this. I don't know what the Coffee from a different place can be nice once in a while. <laughs> once in a while. All the time is more like it. Uh, I was a fool it's funny because that was actually the director's name right there in the, so in the name of the cafe. It is the mighty grizzly, detective among detectives. Now he's more like a big teddy bear. What's the point of the place? Teddy, what's this? So, tell me, David, have you heard the news about that airplane accident, huh? 
Access Gate Airways Flight 117, struck by unexplained lightning. You, you were drink, you no were one's talking it. about anything else right now. We might be looking at the real deal. I've got the good stuff for you this time. Oh! Oh, title card! Yeah! Awesome. This is like an episodic game, so it's going to be very, very this. <laughs> well. <laughs> wow, this is, I don't even know what to say anymore. <laughs> oh. I don't know what to say anymore. Yeah, D4. <laughs> Dark dreams don't die. I love it. I'm so glad I decided to get it. <laughs> it's a very bizarre little game, but I, I still wanted to play it. I've been wanting to play it for years, but never got the chance to. And now I finally Passenger can. Passenger simply vanishing from an aircraft mid-flight. Does that sound possible to you? Antonio Zapatero, otherwise known as Rabbit. He's a courier who only carries real blood. This one promised to provide evidence after being brought to Boston. Evidence that may well have led to the ID of the source of real blood. But then the lightning struck, and in the confusion, he vanished. He escaped somehow? No. When I say vanished, that's pretty much what I mean. Like something out of a magic act. So, clue me in. What makes this one the real deal? The name of the boss he was going to give up? Apparently starts with the letter D. Ooh. This courier might have had evidence revealing the identity of D. <laughs> Dumbass cat, of course. So, interested yet? Let me ask you again. A passenger simply vanishing from an aircraft mid-flight. <laughs> Does that sound possible to you? <laughs> hmm. This is actually... I don't know if there's a timer. There probably is in the bottom of the screen, so I'm just going to pause. <laughs> uh, that way I can read what you wrote, Garf. But yeah, you were like, uh, <laughs> you're like, it's, it's a fuck, it's your fucking cat. It is. She was. Although it's weird how she's my cat. But hey, whatever, you know. I'm not gonna complain. <laughs> uh, let's see here, Garf. You also said, uh, fuck, pinched it. You just made sense of that. <laughs> I guess I did. And Garf, you said he can talk and drink uh, simultaneously. Uh, yeah, I saw that too. I was like, how did? How could you? And then I was like, I'm just not gonna say anything. And you did. You said it. <laughs> uh, skills. Yeah, he definitely got some skills to pay the bills, be able to drink and talk at the same time. <laughs> CSI Boston, and he too was looking for the D. <laughs> Maybe they shouldn't have picked the letter D for this. <laughs> I'm sorry. <coughs> uh, okay, let's return. Um, uh, I, I think a third party might be involved. Like, that's how, what I think. No, it's impossible. There's someone pulling the strings behind this mystery. It's just, I just think right that that's what's money. really happening. <gasps> I am right? Yeah, yeah third party most likely used the confusion to spirit the courier away. Lots of people want the evidence he was carrying after all. From the evidence I was able to bring, this particular item is the most interesting. The owner of that badge was involved in this incident. This music's so upbeat. Well, no doubt about it. This is a memento. 
Great. Oh, that's right. It's yours then. Let's Sweet. hope it's the last one you'll ever need. <laughs> Marshall's bad with blood stains. Nice. Sweet. <clears throat> I'll read that in a second. Let's see, Garf. He said, "Oh, they knew what they were doing." <laughs> Maybe, I don't know. <laughs> oh my god, okay, this is the second memento. The first one was a shoe, a stiletto, but that led to, um, just led to nothing. Uh, a piece of evidence relating to the case of the Vanishing Courier. It belonged to the Federal Marshal Derek, um, what? How do you say that last name? Buchanan? B Buchanan? What? I, who was, quote-unquote, killed while transporting the courier in question. Using this should allow me... To dive, um, uh, should allow me to dive to an airplane aboard, which is quote unquote D, <laughs> the key to my wife's quote unquote murder case. So many things. Yeah, apparently, oh, that's right, every character's got a brand new outfit. Everybody, because I download all the free outfits. Hey, achievement unlocked! Business as usual. Sweet. Completed the stunt scene uh, with Amanda in the prologue without... Um, I think it was without... What did that say? Hold on. I got two achievements. Uh, without any misses or poor rating. And then I got the lodger, which was to complete the stunt scene with Amanda in the prologue. Jeez, that was a scary picture of her. <laughs> Buchanan. That's how you would say it? Buchanan? Okay, that makes sense. Um, let me actually see something here. Um, actually, no, I don't. Well, maybe I can. I can apparently do this, but I'm not doing that. I'm just gonna close everything. Go to the bathroom and dive into the past. Okay, uh, how do I change my clothes, though? Can I change my clothes? Can I do that first? <gasps> can I go in? Can I change my clothes? Ooh, that is a nice bed. King size. Slept here together. White fur. Cat? Uh, yeah, you had a cat, remember? Ugh. Credits. Has a dull shine. I'll take it. <laughs> Closet. Smells of softener. Freshly cleaned shirt. Only half used. Her clothes are still here. Aww. What's this door too? Shower door, uh, shower room door. Rusty doorknob. Sign of being used. Small sounds of opening and closing. Uh, they're o they always woke her up. Aw, little squeaks. Wow. There is a lot on this wall. <laughs> Let's see, Garfield said achievement. <laughs> achievement. Didn't have sex with your cat through proxy. <laughs> Five gamer score. <laughs> oh my god. Bookshelf. A paler plank. A peeler plank. Blank. Bundle of evening editions. I'll throw it away someday. Really? Sure you will, Dave. Movie and comic magazine, cult film, uh, column. Which one is the Palm Odor? Odor? What? It, wait, I couldn't even read it. It didn't matter. Let's just open it. Hey! Sweet! About a film festival. Dior. Uh, okay. Okay. The uh, Palme Dior. Mm hmm. Second World War erupted. That's cool. Okay. Let's 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 let's, let's exit. Close. <laughs> Is there anything else? Anything else I can look at? Ah! I see you. I saw you. I ain't stupid. I see you, bronze emblem. I picked you up. What's this? It's an energy drink! Tastes like medicine. Oh, apparently I can grab this? What? A trophy! 1998 champion. Thomas, uh, well, Thompsonville Penguins. Must have been back when he was in high school. Or college. I don't know. <laughs> okay! What? What? Oh, leaderboards and stuff. Okay, jeez. No, I'm good. I don't want to look at all that. <laughs> I just wanted to. I just wanted to. Can I tap it? Can't tap it. Can't tap nothing in here. There's a soda. I'm gonna save that. 
for later. Uh, I can't move around in the room except turning left and right. Uh, I'm actually gonna look at the closet. Let's see what's in here. Let's open it! Yay! I can change everybody's clothes! Yay! <laughs> Let's change their clothes. <laughs> Why not? I also have beards and all sorts of things. So I don't know. We're gonna we're gonna change everything, I guess. So I have oh well, there's lots of outfits in here. Jeez. In fact, like as soon as I started the game up, Garf, and I went to the main menu, it gave me like three achievements. Right then and there off the bat. And I was just like, geez, okay. Sure. Whatever you say, bruh. There's so many outfits. Oh hey, I'm cool with that hoodie. This is sad. Why am I doing this? <laughs> what is this? It's, it's, it's fashion. It's fashion time. <laughs> I love that comment so much, Garb. This shit is ridiculous. That's my favorite comment. I swear to God it is. <laughs> These are all the downloaded clothes right here. Everything from the crimson red t-shirt all the way down. The crimson dragon t-shirt from here. All, all of these are gonna be new because I downloaded these. Oh my god, I just wanna go to the blue one. Boop. Now if I'm correct, I think crimson dragon was also another game. Yes, it is. It was another game. Um, and that one had like multiple endings depending on things that you did. Oh, that's a sick hoodie! That's cool. I'd wear that. <laughs> yeah, that's actually really nice. Yeah, that's cool. And then Killer Instinct. Got a Killer Instinct shirt. <laughs> like, multiple Killer Instinct shirts. Like, all the Killer Instinct shirts and hoodies. <laughs> I see Garfield. I can't remember anything, and I need to find my wife's murder. But first... Wardrobe! Oh, I love that C combo breaker. I love that. This is so cool. And then, ah, oh, Fable. Fable t-shirts. <laughs> hey, come on. Chicken chaser. I am a chicken chaser. <laughs> like, apparently they changed the filter? What? I don't care about changing filters. Yeah, <laughs> chicken chaser. And then the Fable. I, I love this. I love this. I'm finally able to actually look at these. It's going to be great. This is nice. So it seems that each one of them actually does have their own, like, uh, element to it, too. Like, I've noticed this. Each one of them has a, a special stat connected to them. I just noticed that now. Wind-up night. I don't know what wind-up night is, unfortunately. <laughs> but I'm sure it's another game. I've just never heard of it. And every, like I said, every single one of these does have a different stat connected to it. This is actually really nice. The Super Brothers. I, I don't know what that's for, though. <laughs> Maybe it's a pixel game? I just don't know of. Oh, it's so cute. Sorry. That's actually perfect for winter time. But it's not winter time right now. It's Halloween. So we need something scary. Max the Curse, uh, Curse of Brother. I actually have heard of that game. Uh, Max the Curse of Brotherhood, was it? Yeah, the Curse of Brotherhood. That's what it was called. And I've actually heard of that game. Never played it, but I have heard of it. So many clothes. So many clothes. So little time. Also, we got some golf t-shirts. Not, not that I care about that, but okay. And then Happy Wars. Happy Wars I actually kind of heard of, but I don't remember much about it, unfortunately. There's so many things. So many things. These were all for free. I couldn't give, I couldn't pass these up. They were for free. Why not? And this is why I have so many pieces of clothing now. That didn't just say tent, it does. It says tentacles into the dolphin. What the hell is this? <laughs> Just a white t-shirt. <laughs> Why? Why is it called Tentacles into the Dolphin? Why? Why? 
That's actually kind of cool. <laughs> but still, why? <laughs> what is happening right now? <laughs> oh yeah, and then the Gears of War shirts and tank and hoodies and stuff. I was about to say tank tops, it's just hoodies and shirts. Which is cool that they got that on there. They have a lot of lot of stuff. Let's see, uh, Garfield. It's a dolphin peen joke. <laughs> and you would know. <laughs> you would know, Garf. <laughs> maybe I don't know. Maybe maybe that's just what you think it means. I have no idea. <laughs> you have no idea what's happening anymore. And then the rock band T-shirts. My God, what am I doing with my life? Okay, we're gonna pick a- we're gonna go- we're gonna go through all these. We're gonna go back to the beginning, actually. That's what I want to do. Let's see, hold on. Apparently we have, um... We actually have... I'm trying to, like, get to the... I don't want to look at all of them. I just want to change. I guess that's what filter means. Let's see. There we go. Okay, so these are the default outfits we get. So, the, obviously, the detective shirt. Um... Then the... Yeah, fashion from the good old days. <laughs> Who cares about fashion? And then looking relaxed is important. <laughs> Let's see, Garf said, unfortunately. <laughs> oh, no. No. You know, unfortunately, you know. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> collaboration. I don't know what, collab what, what the collaboration is, but it's okay. Because we also got all these. And you know what? Hold on, what is what does this one say? Let me actually get to it. It just says, uh, spy fiction cosplay. It's a cosplay. It's a, it's a cosplay. <laughs> I guess he likes cosplaying. <laughs> <clears throat> all right, all right, all right. So I'm gonna pick, I'm gonna pick, I think we're gonna go with the hoodie. I'm gonna wear the Crimson Dragon hoodie. That's what I want to wear for now, because looking comfortable is important. <laughs> that one's cool, too, but I think we're going to wear that one for now. And I think, like, um, every episode or so, uh, I might actually change... Um, I might change clothes and stuff. So... So this is nice. This works. This works in my favor. What? Oh, I didn't want to equip that, you buffoon. How dare you? I want to wear my hoodie. If I can find it. There it is. Yeah, that's good. I also got beards. <laughs> we'll look at that in a second. I don't know if that changes the th gameplay or not. Let's see, Garfield also said it's the best one. It is. I like the red hoodie. It looks nice. So there's not a lot of pants. Not a lot of styles for pants, which is fine. Let's see. 70s pants, I'm afraid to see. Eh, I don't look too bad. I mean, I'm okay with that. I don't look too bad. Let's see, get some uh, off style pants. Who cares about fra fashion on your day off? <laughs> and then uh, look at relax is important because it's his relaxed jeans. They're his relaxed pants. I like the off style pants. I like blue jeans, so that looks good. And then his detective shoes. Actually, actually, let me go back. Let me see what these. These don't have any gameplay changes. Okay, that's fine. Wait, I didn't want to go back. I wanted. I wanted to see his shoes. So, okay, so we got his 70s shoes, off style shoes. Those, uh, wow, though, I actually, what's weird is I kind of like those shoes too. <laughs> Carve bell bottoms, nice. I think they are. Let's actually go back and look at the, the 70s pants. And then let's go over here. Ah, they're just regular pants. They're not bell bottoms, unfortunately. That would have been hilarious if they were. I'm just saying. <laughs> All right, so yeah, I'm gonna wear the relaxed shoes because I like that. I like those styles of, of shoes. You just look good, okay? Shh. And I do have lots of, of beards. I actually do. Um, at least I, I I know I did. I thought I did apparently. Because I did download lots of different styles. So. Oh no no beard 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 beard. He has to have the beard. I'm sorry, I can't do clean face. I can't do I can't do clean shave. I can't I can't do clean shaven. I can't I can't do a shave. I can't do it. 
he has to have the five o'clock shadow, dude. Nope, I can't do it without it. I can't do it without it. He, nope, nope. No, he has to have his beard. Let's see. <laughs> Garf, you said, they're polyester. Boo, right? Like, no. Nah. That's, that's the thick, that's a thick, oh, thin. It's a thin, it's a thin beard, apparently. Wow, the clothes take forever to, to load. What's weird, though, is that I have more beards, and I don't know why they're not installed. I'll look at it later, but for right now, we're going to keep on the sloppy beard, because I like that. <laughs> uh, one more up on the beard. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I like it, though. I like it, though. Let's see. Yeah, so we are on that. I don't think there's another filter. Let's go see. Yeah, no, that, that's it. That's, that's it. That's all of them, apparently, which kind of stinks. Which is nice. So this is what we look like. And we can actually... Okay, now pushing the right stick really jitters him around when I'm looking. That's not fun. Okay, well, I like this. I'm okay with this. He looked good. That looked good. Let's go. Ah, achievement unlocked. <laughs> Getting changed. Aw, snap. Changed Young's outfit. I actually can change everybody's outfit. I think I should do that real quick. <laughs> Let's see. Uh, Garfi said, I lied. That one stinks. <laughs> I will not do clean shaven, though. I will say that. Him with a clean shaven face just doesn't look right. I'm sorry. Poor, poor David. He doesn't look good with a clean shaven face. Um, and then you said... Um, yeah, one up, uh, one more up on the beard. I lied, that one stinks. <laughs> and keep this one. I will. And Garfi said, so, you're back. <laughs> After a millennium. I can't believe I can actually change their, like, her outfit, too. Ah, she got a spy friction outfit, too! I said spy friction. I meant spy fiction. Also, this looks better. I'm okay with this. I'm okay with this outfit, because, you know stuff and things but if I had these other outfits on let's just leave the default outfit on and then go to the ribbons and actually see yeah I can just change it from that to this color which I'm not doing that I also change it from that to this which I'm also not doing that either we're going to wear the spy outfit damn it I have my reasons <laughs> there that's what she's gonna wear right that, yep that's what she's wearing <clears throat> let's see and he can wear stuff too it's old, which is why it's so cool. <laughs> I did! I'm sorry, Garp! I didn't mean to say friction, I swear! <laughs> I spy friction! <laughs> I'm sorry! Oh, cool! His, this is what his is. This is what his spy fiction is. His cosplay. That's cool. <laughs> I also like this, uh... This one here, too. So if I wear this... Everything else is locked. So let's actually go ahead and wear uh, just just the old Clark, uh, Clark jacket because I like that. Ew. Contact lenses. Nya. I'm okay with those glasses. Neckties. Um, no necktie. What? No, I was I was not I was not done. So I can wear no necktie, the uh, BPD, or the old Clark. You know, I'll go ahead and wear the BPD. It's not gonna hurt. And he is already... He's not wearing those. Mother of God, no. Wear the other ones. That's fine. No, oh, it's no difference in the shoes. Just more blue. I'm okay with that. Cool. Everyone got changed. I'm okay with this. <laughs> Garf said, go full 80s. Do it. Oh, hey, achievement unlock. Mass outfit overhaul. Change the outfit of a character other than Young. Yay! I did it! <laughs> I did it. I changed the outfit of all the characters. But I don't know if I can go full 80s. Like, I'm not doing that to Young. I like the way he looks. I like David Young the way he is. But these... I, I guess I, the only way I could... The only thing I could do is put him... Yeah, I mean, he looks good in this old clerk outfit. But then again, he said go full 80s. So, you know, well, yeah, we'll do that. 
We'll give him the old Clark tight. And I don't want to do it, but we'll give him the old Clark pants. And he's already wearing the old Clark shoes. And he's already wearing the old Clark glasses, I, I, I think. Um, let's, let's see. Uh, yes, he is. Okay, we're good. That's fine. I'm okay with this. Let's go. <laughs> On oh, Big Man McGee. Yeah, we did it. Well, he's all, he's full 80s now. <laughs> Wait, can I, can I look at this? Nope, okay. Alright, now it's, now it's time to go in here. <laughs> yeah. Sweet. Also, I see you in the background there. Hold on, let me. I guess, I guess I can't do it from here. I actually have to do it from the, I can't. But it's right there. It's like right there. I, I want to, uh, I want to grab it, but I can't. <laughs> oh, no, oh, when no, I see, goes okay. It only increases in power, stagnating like a blocked pond. Those are the mementos I seek. Those are the kind of memories that will invite me back into the past. Yee. Yeah. And this one's got, it still has its power, so we're going to use it eventually. Alright. Yee. Yeah. Toilet. A wooden toilet seat. It's warm even in the winter. Clean. Clean by the detective. <laughs> but I just, I want, I want, I don't want that. I want to. This! No! I want that! Why can't I touch it? He hates bubblegum, but he still blows the bubblegum. Sink. Totally drenched. Did Amanda use it? Nah, guess it was me. <laughs> Ay! First aid kit can treat wounds. Yeah. I'm gonna take that. Uh. Yay, my life was restored! Mirror, made in England. Her belongings, a present from her father. I was lucky to survive. Ironically, though, I've got a best piece of evidence still lodged in my head. <laughs> That's true. So, hey, uh, how do I grab that thing in the background there? Hmm? 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 Oh, I guess it ain't gonna tell me. Let's see. Garf. He said the spy, f um, the spy fiction. I think he actually is. No, he isn't. He's not wearing the spy fiction outfit. I, I should, because if I if I put the spy fiction outfit on, everything else gets locked out. So, I think I'll go in there and I'll do that then. Uh, let's see, Garvey said. <laughs> I swear to God, this is gonna be the best LP ever. I'm not even kidding. <laughs> Garf, you said in quotes as if as if this was David's inner thoughts. <laughs> I really got <laughs> I really got a poop. I forgot how to how to poop. <laughs> I'm sorry. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm trying to calm down. It's not working. I'm sorry. Mm. I'm seriously having a hoot with this game. I'm sorry. I'm just having so much fun. <laughs> this is just too good. Gotta splash the face. Splash the splash. Okay, but seriously though, how do I grab that? I, I just, I want it. I want it. Doctor, despair, dread. That's good, but I want. I, 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 it's right there, and I want it so badly. Maybe if I. Maybe if I did it a certain way. Like if I had my cursor like this. N no, no, no. It's so hard to grab it! How do I grab it? I just, I want it. I need it. I has to have it. Wait, I can grab it. Ah! <laughs> it's, it's 
It's right there. Why? Why can't? Why won't you let me grab it? It's like right. It's right. It's right there. I want it. I I need it. I has to have it. <laughs> it's right there. <laughs> I want it so badly. Why won't you let me grab it, game? The game will not let me grab it. Wait, maybe now. Yes! I did it! I figured out the puzzle! I grabbed it. It's mine. That was really hard. <laughs> oh my god. That was the hardest thing I've ever had to do in my life. Jesus, I'm out of here. Let's see, Garf. You said, but gravely. And you said, shoot the mirror. <laughs> oh, I can't. Unfortunately, the game won't let me. Also, you said, way to go, game designers. Yeah. Also, I don't know if you heard me say this earlier, but when I... Okay, this is me clicking the um, the right bumper and the left bumper. Basically, the right bumper makes you look left. The left bumper makes you look right, which is inverted. And I don't like inverted design, but unfortunately, it's I'm forced to be inverted like this. Uh, clicking both at the same time makes you look down, which is not that bad. I like that. Now, that's okay. This is okay. But pressing right to look left and pressing left to look right, that's the only thing I don't like. I don't like that at all. Alright. Can I actually sleep in this bed? Can I sleep in it? Of course! Okay. So this, this must be how you can go through. Oh, okay, that makes sense. That makes sense. Okay. Okay, let's just, let's just, let's, let's close it. Apparently, it takes energy to lay on your bed, but okay. <laughs> Let's see, Garvey said, because uh, cause that's how mo motor skills normally function. <laughs> right? Like, jeez, bruh. Let's go check everybody out. Let's actually talk to everybody, too. Hi, dear. Apparently, I can grab her. I don't want to do that. Hey, hey, hey I, was, I was investigating. No, Amanda, you better not leave. Okay, thank God. Please. Okay, Amanda. For, um, for, wow, freeloading lodger, smells like grass, duck feathers and whiskers. But she's here. But she's here. Okay, game. I'm sorry. I'm doing it for the credits. I could do it too. Anyways, hi. What? She's a store? What is this shit? What am I playing? <laughs> I'm sorry. Okay. Let me read what you wrote. Uh, Garf, I'm gonna bang that weirdo. It's definitely not my cat. <laughs> No, no, it's not your cat at all. <laughs> oh no! That's where they all are. I have to buy them. I have to I have to buy them. I I have to buy them. Do I even Do I even have the money? <laughs> I don't even know. But these are all the beards I downloaded. Now I realize I have to buy them all. I don't know. I'm not buying them all. You gotta be insane. I'm not doing that. That's actually really bad. <laughs> Stubble. Uh, I mean, that, 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 that's okay. I like the default one, but okay. Mother of God. What am I doing with my life? <laughs> wow. This is just... I don't have any words. There are just no words to describe how I feel right now. <laughs> Garf. Meow, meow, meow. Meow, 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 I swear that that one beard looks just so bad. It just looks so bad. There is one that I actually did want. Which was this one because it was a f more like the, the beer's more the beard. Wow, 
Wow, beers? The beard is more full. Can I actually purchase this? It says 500. I do, I have plenty. Okay, so every every credit that I earned, this is where I buy them. Okay, cool. Yes, I do want to buy this. That's the one I, I wanted. Actually, yes, I want to change clothes, but not for not for me. Oh, it's changing it now. Okay. Uh, I guess that's how that works. Radio games. And this is where you get all the other characters' clothes, which I'm not gonna worry about. Cool. Okay. Sweet. This works. Th this this works wonders. What is this? What are these things? Auto recover when exhausted. Single use only. Okay. Roasted chicken. That just makes me think of Castlevania. The wall chicken. That's what that makes me think of. <laughs> I know, right? You said, uh, exactly, Garf. You said the Hitler stash slash Charlie Chaplin. Um, yeah, stash. It just, it, it's not, not a great look. It's not. <laughs> The old fashioned, right? It just don't, it just don't look right. All right, well my health's already topped, uh, topped off. So I'm not gonna worry about it. Um, would you relax? I'm fine. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and exit out of here. All right, I am actually wearing the beard right now. I don't know how I feel about this, but okay. Where's my cursor? There it is. It's funny, you can actually play this game with a Kinect, but because, um, because I don't want to do that, it's fine. <laughs> yeah. He's my partner. Once a grizzly, now a teddy bear. Dirty shirt. Pulled an all-nighter. Where are you going? Where, where are you going? Hi. How you doing? I'm sorry for this, sir. <laughs> I'm sorry. I just need the credits. Also, hi. Are you eating okay? Uh uh <gasps> About food. Yes. I want the extra credits. What's up, David? Feeling hungry? Uh yeah. Uh a bit, actually. <laughs> okay, good. Let's eat then. I know you too well. You probably have only been drinking alcohol. Uh, well. <laughs> Your badge says detective for a reason, Teddy. Yay! We got a new cake. Let's see, Garf's like, what the hell? <laughs> Go get a right? Manager. The more the merrier at the dinner table. Yay, food! Food is delicious. Aw, snap. Tell me, Teddy. What's up with you and Diana? Nothing much. It's just how we roll. New York versus Boston again? That's the root of it. But both of you are originally from New York. I thought you'd be double teaming me. I've been living in Boston for 30 years, man. I'm a Bostonian now, body and soul. Diana doesn't see it that way? Nah. She still got her head stuck right up in New York. So what was it this time? It's Baseball? Right now. Basketball? Not football. Mm, nope. Something bigger. But what's bigger than sports rivalry? Oh, uh, this one's bigger. What Much is bigger. happening? It's all about clam chowder. Oh no. Clam chowder. Yeah, clam chowder. No matter how you slice it, Boston has the best clam chowder in the world. You're, you're with me on this, right? Right? Huh? Uh, but Diana just What's can't happening? See it. That's too many pieces of pizza. I have no what are you? Are you Dante? <laughs> what is happening right now? <laughs> what? I've never eaten clam chowder anywhere but Boston. So it's the best Hi, in the Luigi, world. Hi, Luigi. Welcome to the Garvey said you drank some coffee and, and read some fortune Come cookies. On. Oh, come on, David. Mm, sorry. Uh, I can't help you out. <laughs> I can't say anything absolute that isn't based on personal experience. 
Uh, Dave, that's that's this. enough cookies in your. All I don't even I know what. To say was damn straight. Okay. Uh. <laughs> that was. Uh, he crunched up way too many cookies. That stack was like super, super high. Have you guys noticed? <laughs> also, I don't know what I'm obtaining. I can't read the bottom of the screen. Hey, achievement unlock, meal of the day. Sweet. Completed one extra case from Forrest. Awesome. From Teddy. We'll call him Teddy. We're not because that's what he's called. Which is weird because that's my father's name. Anyways, hello, Glidgy. Welcome to the stream. <laughs> Sorry, there was just that whole cutscene was happening and, and things were weird, man. Things were things were weird. <laughs> Hold on a second. Okay, I'm back. <laughs> yeah, this game is so weird, man. All right, let's see. Uh, oh my God, Garf, you're like, <laughs> holy badass Batman. Hey, you don't be mean to Teddy. He's fun, okay? Glindy, you said, I just saw Castle in the Sky, and holy crap, it takes place in the same universe as Nausicaa. Oh, oh, I don't know. Well, see, the thing is, I don't know um, if if the book Castle, uh, Castle in the Sky is... Oh, no, wait. It's Castle in the Sky. Excuse me. I was thinking about something totally different. Yeah, I think they might be same, uh, set in the same uh, in the same universe. Um, I'm not sure, though. Like, I don't know about the books. I I, I really sadly don't know. Um, Garf, you said that was like five pizzas of pizza at once. Right? He was freaking Dante, dude. He was like being like Devil May Cry Dante, who loves pizza. Actually, no, he's worse. Because Dante still eats one slice at a time. He was like... I don't know what that was, but okay. The discovery of B. I don't even know what this is. In April 2002, a Boston University student suddenly collapsed during track and failed practice on campus and was taken to the hospital. Even with the proper emergency medical response, the student died within the hour. The cause of death was acute heart failure. Uh, as he was a regular user of anabiotic steroids, I'm hoping... I said that right. Uh, his death was considered to be caused by drug abuse or as a side effect thereof. Although it seems fairly cut and dry, the deceased's the deceased's possessions. Well, it's really hard to say. Possessions were seized as part of the investigation. A large volume of steroids were found, entirely backing up the original conclusions. However, among them, a new type of unregistered, unrecognized pharmaceutical was also reported. While the general steroids used for the doping are enhancers with an anabolic reaction that increases the protein in cells, this new drug not only acted instantly, but also apparently allowed the strength of a user's muscles to be greatly increased with seemingly no um, psych... Physiolog oh, okay. physiological... okay. Yeah, physiological changes. Due to the massive increase in the competitive performance, it allowed and its ability to pass all doping tests completely undetected. Word of the drug spread quietly but quickly among athletes, with black market trades conducted under the name B, due to the red powder's resemblance to dried blood. In addition, the volume on the market was so small that exactly how to obtain it remained veiled in secrecy, although clinical uh, clinical tests reveal no um, psych psychotative properties. Uh, all who used it regularly provide a very similar testimony regarding its effects. That drug turns you into a god. It's not some filthy narcotic. It's the way to obtain your true self. That's scary, dude. Anyways, hello, Gluji. There's fox squirrels in it. <laughs> Eddie Guru syndrome. <laughs> Drugs and roids. Wash it down with some booze. <laughs> right? Oh, I didn't want to do that. That was delicious. Full recovery! Snap, boy! This is awesome. Can we actually Anything talk to him again? I can help you with? Cool. Okay, so we already had done the extra case. Um, couriers and the drug enforcement. Yeah, let's do this one. So why this courier turn witness anyway? I don't know the My details, God. but apparently I think I'll leave the full beard on. Turned himself into the DEA. 
And they trust him? Uh, I don't know about that either. <laughs> but this Even is so information weird. about the mastermind behind real blood. I mean, they're Ew. probably saying, can't hurt to hear him out. I feel exactly the same way. All right. What's the bio on the courier? Antonio I mean, might Capo as well Guerra, ask him these questions. Quick to go underground, but then quickly pops up again somewhere else. That's why they call him the courier rabbit. <laughs> why rabbit? He's also a womanizer. So... You know but, how rabbits are? Strong with cha, okay. But the ladies call him bunny in bed. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, dude. What is happening right now? I'm sorry. Why is this courier running his mouth about providing evidence then? I, I'm gonna like try to that, exhaust all the options. Might as well. Sit out a match. It's like he's begging the bad guys to come silence him. It's a real blood case, after all. I mean, a regular courier wouldn't talk, even if it meant death. I had to choose between jail and hell. Oh man, I'd still choose lockup. Uh, there's something behind all this. Oh my God, there's so many things. How much, like, how much longer do we talk to him about this? <laughs> oh my god, Garf. Because he sucks at nicknames. Because <laughs> he sucks at nicknames, I don't fucking know. <laughs> I'm sorry. So it's all I'm having so much conspiracy? fun with this game. Don't ask me. There are people who have conspiracy theories about your case, though. You lost your beloved wife. And I lost the best partner a cop could ever ask for. Yeah, the more you think about the questions, the more distant the answers become. Humans may not have the ability to understand the complete truth. Okay. Do I really want to go through all... You know, yes, we will. Might as well. So how are the BPD tied up in this? The BPD has the special drugs unit, after all. The team you once belonged to. Yeah, we were once. a narc! We have a long history of handling real blood. Our past knowledge can come in handy for cases like this one. Yeah, about this, uh, this real blood drug after I read Luigi's comment. Castle in the Sky takes place at least a thousand years before Nausicaa. That's cool. I never really thought about that. Like, I, I mean, with the way it was set up and stuff, it seemed like they might have been in the same universe, but I didn't know because I didn't. I knew they were both based on books, as far as I knew. But I didn't know if either of them actually were truly connected to each other or not. So... That was a question I did not have the answer to. But now I do because of you, Gluji. <laughs> Any progress with the case since I left? Uh, we're still hard at work on it. We're not getting any results. This drug is king across New England now. Oh, mm. dang. Yeah, it's been under analysis for years, but MIT still doesn't know how to make it. Seriously. World's going to hell. What's up with these subtitles not matching the dialogue? Anyways, let's see. Gluji said, "They, there are fox squirrels. It's irrefutable proof." <laughs> well, I'm, I'm sorry. I didn't. I probably didn't notice. I'm sorry. It's been a long time. Do okay. Do you think the past can be changed, David? You can't change the past. You just have to accept the past. I know. But if I could just meet with little Peggy one last time, I'll change the past. You'll see. Aww. Poor David. Alright, well, we done it. We done everything. Let's go over here. Now, I did say I wanted to do something before we did anything else. So let me do this real quick. <laughs> Garf. <laughs> Furls. Squawks? What? I can't even. Oh, wait, hold on. I, I you're trying to put squirrel and foxes together, so squawkses? <laughs> Nailed it. <laughs> All right, we said we were gonna do it. Done. <laughs> Everyone's a spy except me. I'm cool and casual with my crimson dragon hoodie. <laughs> All right, I think I'm gonna quickly save the game, and then we're gonna finally dive into this memory. Alright. Save the game. Right, it's this way. Boop. I did it. 
<laughs> Got him. I tried. <laughs> All right. Wait. 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 Can I do this? No, I, I can't. I gotta move forward one step. Okay. Okay. Ugh! That punk squirrel's back! Get out of my window! Okay. That's better. I'm sorry. I know. That squirrel did nothing wrong. Wait. Uh, alright, we're good. I actually do want to eat that burger over there, okay? It's just- it's, it's begging me to- to put it in my mouth. I'm sorry. I- I know. I could eat it right now. <laughs> That's a waste of energy, though. <laughs> okay, no. No, I, I- I gotta- I gotta not eat that burger. As much as I want to eat it. With its extra pickles, I can't. Alright, let's go this way. Also, did, I said I was gonna leave the beard on, right? I did like- I like the original one, but I do love this one, too. Uh, let's see here. Garf, you said, the squirrel's working for somebody. It is. Gotta be working for somebody. Oh, more bubblegum. I'm okay with that. By the way, David. You're- you're not swallowing your gum, are you? Pl please tell me you're not swallowing your- the gum. Because, you know that would take seven years, right? Before it comes back out? Poor, poor David. It's, it's okay. It's okay. Just there, there. Alright, anyways. <laughs> I love this. I love this hand. I love it. Yes, hi. Hi, David. Teddy. Yes, hi. Thanks for all the help. Huh. No problem, David. We're partners. You may have quit the force, but... That fact won't change. Well, if you trace it all the way back, if I hadn't asked you to join up in the first place... Teddy! No, no, no. Thank you. I see Glidgy said, Yes! My room is cold! <laughs> Don't give me that look, Amanda. I'm just trying to give him a reason to live. Aww. Confidential. But, 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 what's in it? Oh! Little Peggy. Time has been frozen for me since that day. <laughs> Will I see you this time? <laughs> I did it! Oh snap! What is happening right now? This is actually really cool. Another- okay, another drop. What is happening? Oh, that's the end of the episode? Well, is this is this gonna happen at the end of every single one of these? It is, isn't it? Yep, it's gonna happen at the end of every one of these. Wow, I'm praying to God. Achievement unlocked. Knowing where to look. Oh boy, my phone just like vibrated a lot from this. Completed an episode with objectives found. Objects found over 75%. Oh no, I didn't find everything. Wow. Or maybe I did. I don't know. Oh, another achievement. Just another PI. <laughs> Completed the prologue. Yeah, that basically was the prologue. That's amazing. <laughs> Let's see, Gluji said, Yes, my room is cold. I can finally sleep in my bed sheets. Nice. Another achievement? Good listener. Completed an episode with witness accounts gathered at over 75%. Nice! I did it. I good. Oh my god, another achievement? Observant. Completed an episode with observance found at over 75%. 
Jesus, how many more achievements am I gonna get in one go? Any more? You done now? Really? Also, that's a lot of calories I just ingested. I'm glad I didn't eat that burger. <laughs> uh, let's see, Garp said, in my mouth. <laughs> oh god, no. And he said, that's a good, that's a good cold open, I see. Yes, it's actually starting to get a little colder here now, finally. Luigi said, I'm super happy right now. I got cool plans for D&D. Cold room. Just saw a Ghibli film that was linked to another. Noise. All the good stuff and things are happening right now. <laughs> Let's see. I collected... Oh, no. There were other observations I missed. And, and apparently there were like two objects that I missed that I could have pushed. Man. Well, it doesn't matter. I'm not going to go for 100% in the first go. I mean, I'll attempt it. I'm, I'm not going to deny it, guys. I will attempt it. But... I'm more or less just going to enjoy the game as it is. That's really cool, though. Like, wow. Okay. So, should we continue? I think we should continue. Okay. Hey, we got new outfits. Alright, add a replay episode functionality. Cool. So now we can replay the episode. I can't move my hand, though. Okay. Another achievement. What the hell? World-class fashion model. Acquired 60 articles of clothing. I swear to God. I'm gonna get another achievement here in a second. I know it. <laughs> I just know it, guys. <laughs> oh my God, Glitchy. I'm not reading that comment. Okay, no more achievements. I'm not gonna read- uh, I'm not gonna read that comment, Glitchy. That's- that, that's- that's just bad. Also, I don't know how you could do that with your eye sockets. Um... But it would, it, it wouldn't, it doesn't sound pleasant. <laughs> Alright, the question remains. Should we continue to the next episode? Or should we go back to the main menu and call it quits? It's only been two hours. <laughs> Took me two hours to finish the prologue. Well, I'm sorry. <laughs> Garf. Achievement. Had the audacity to continue playing. Two gamer score. <laughs> Noise. Mm. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Okay. Here's what I'm going to do. You said continue? Okay, guys. Here's what I'm going to do. Uh, for you guys on YouTube, this is where we're going to end this episode off. Uh, so this whole episode will be the prologue, and you guys will enjoy it, and it'll be great. Um, I'm going to actually pause it here, and for everyone on Twitch, I will be continuing on. I'm gonna go in there. I'm gonna grab me something to eat. This will get this way. I can have some, um, some silence, I guess, or some time between each episode, um, before continuing. So this is what I'm gonna do, guys. I'm gonna go ahead and pause for just like a few minutes for us on Twitch and for you guys on YouTube. This will be the end of this episode. So if you guys like this episode of D4 and you want to see more of this weird game that is just so charming that I can't stop playing <laughs> Please don't be afraid to hit smash crotch up credit kick or parkour onto that like button And if you knew and you haven't done it already, don't be afraid to hit the subscribe button and if you're Feeling you know if you feel up to it, please don't be afraid to leave a comment because uh, I need to know these things People on YouTube if you made it to the end of the video because that's awesome <laughs> Let me quickly read the last part of the chat here. I see Glitchy. Uh, you said I can also use my forehead too. <laughs> and you said you use your hand to make that sound. Okay. <laughs> and Garf, you said my brain can't handle this fourth wall break. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I don't know, man. <laughs> this game's weird as it is. All right, guys. Like I said, I'm gonna go ahead and cut it here. Thank you guys so much for watching on YouTube. I'm Kat the Game Girl. This was D4. Dark dreams don't die. And remember, be cool, play it safe, and stay awesome. <laughs>